Hello and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Remember when I told you that I'm most definitely not gonna go for all of those bodies that uh, are laying right here? So I did. Speak to me, love. No. No. I did go through them and one of them carried the clown's severed head. Which means we if I understand correctly, there was a clown. Mm, head, leg, pelvis, torso, foot. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, I'm fairly sure we have seven parts. Arm foot, hand, head, leg, pelvis, and torso. Yeah, we have seven parts, so let's pay a visit in, yes, in the circus, and we will give those body parts to the ringmaster. Of course, I give the mic thing. Okay, it's this way. I guess coming more. Oh, we still have three ghouls. We still have. Oh! Carlson changed back into his human form. Yeah. That's weird. He usually stays in his wild shape form. Oh, where are you? Really, though, where are you? Oh. Hello again, my vicious little warrior. Any luck finding dribbles? Wait, do I? Okay, maybe I need to Come have on, it on me. There you go. Hello again, my vicious little warrior. So we really need one more part. We found Dribble's arm. A part of Dribble's has been used to create a person Bartby's, which can be essential for his body parts. We found food. We found four. So we found about half of his corpse. Ah, so we do need to find some one more part. Okay. Okay, we still need to find. Oh, right, centering agent named Ruach. Ruach. Do I know where this is? And also... Yeah, that one. Uh, we need to find the door with heart inside. Ooh, do I have it? It's probably on the car lock. If anyone, hey. Lungs, brain, no heart whatsoever. Okay, great. Hmm. Okay, so there goes my plan. Should we pay the casa or a visit? Maybe we should rest first.
yeah, I think that's gonna be a fairly good idea to pay this to Casador. I'm still extremely cautious about that part for whatever reason. <laughs> I just wish everyone on our team the best. Alright. No, we didn't go back to the camp. We didn't. We still need to talk with, to talk with Lazel. Yes, I think we do. Um, Lazel? Tush tush. Lazel. Tush tush. Oh, there you are. can carry me. How did you... Okay, something happened, the game is lagging. You're right back. closest equivalent I know. May your enemies know but after releasing me from Orin's grip, there is only one proper response. Thank you. Sincerely. She said it. After 70 hours, she said it. Or 69 hours. Maybe 69. You're welcome. <sighs> well, good then. Let's carry on. <laughs> Do you have anything else? Dead, which means we have taken one step closer to slaughtering the fetid elder brain. Let's take her with us, maybe? I don't know. Um, I would like to talk about Orpheus. What about him? Why is he called the Prince of the Comet? The historical slates describe Orpheus as a fearsome, terrible creature, powerful beyond measure, and enthralled by the Geich. So mad with power, he'd smash through the Githyanki Empire and deliver the shards to his illithid masters. And glowing with such psionic force that he and his red dragon blazed a trail through the skies. A lethal comet careening towards my people. Lies, of course. Vlakid spread a false image of Orpheus as monstrous betrayer, and her knights as the butchers who sliced him through. She was right to fear him, I'll grant her that. So great is the comet, it could shatter her reign. Why did Vlakid keep Orpheus alive all those millennia ago? The Emperor may be loathsome, but it's right. Orpheus can disrupt a gay hive mind. A talent like that makes the prince a powerful shield and a powerful weapon. Why destroy a weapon like that when you can contain it in a relic and keep it for yourself? Why would Vlachif want Orpheus that now if he's so valuable alive? A weapon is only an asset for as long as it isn't pointed at you. The means of Vlakith's own end has been ripped away from her. Better to have Orpheus killed than to risk his escape. Better to risk the rise of Illithids than let the Prince of the Comet deny her the godhood she craves. Who were the hostile Githyanki in the prison? Orpheus is honor guard, loyal to the end. Trapped by Vlakith in the same prism holding their noble prince, fruitlessly hacking at the sphere that contains him. They see us as Geich, tadpoled husks in the Emperor's thrall. I regret their deaths, but I pledge to live as they perished, in the service of Gith's son. Voss has gone underground. He'll be waiting for us there. Voss has done his duty. Now, we will do ours. When we next enter the Astral Prism, we will break Orpheus free. 
With the Prince of the Comet at our sides, we can end the grand design and restore the throne to Gith's heir. To the Undercity. Vos deserves to know the hammer is ours. We've got the Orphic Hammer in hand. What are your intentions? Yes, the hammer is ours. The means to Orpheus's release is in our hands. To the Undercity, Vos must hear of our victory. When we next enter the Astral Prism, we will break Orpheus free. Hmm. Come on. Chill out. Okay, okay. I really like his things. I really like Karlak's amount of damage. Okay. Halston, I want you to stay for now. Bounty pales next to you. Do you need something? Yeah, I need the game to start working. And um, can I go through his inverter? Oh, okay, give me a moment. Because I'm not quite sure. Yeah, he has quite lots of stuff. So, boop. Give that heart to Kalak. Thank you. Now I can leave him. Come. My heart soars just to look wherever you need me. I'll By the way, I'm fully sure the. What the hell? How much okay, it's been acting so weird today. Voss will be pleased with our progress. Then it is done. Great, and you're gonna level up plenty. And I'm gonna restart the game because, as you can see, something is very wrong, so be right back. Okay, and we are back, so I can... Assume nothing. Okay, we can level up Lazel now, four times. We have... Indomitable. You have become as durable as an iron golem. Whenever you fail a saving throw, you can roll again, using the new result instead. She gets plus one to initiative. And if I remember correctly, she can wear heavy armors, which we have plenty of. Improved combat severity. Okay, and another two maneuvers. I want that. Spend a spirity day to make an attack that deals additional 1d10. Yep. And do additional one they tend to attempt to court target into attacking you. Uh, spend action and a reaction to direct an ally to strike a foe. Yep. Oh, you don't really get any. Uh, you don't get a lot of uh, things. You can make two additional attacks after attacking with your main hand web. That's awesome. And your feet. Are you proficient with? I like <laughs> Sentinel. But wait, you are not proficient with heavy armors? I was fairly sure you are. Maybe not. Okay. She was! <sighs> I hate this. Why the game wouldn't the show me that alive. she is perfectly heavy armor? This is heavy. Medium. I mean medium, but we also can give her a new helmet. You don't get like 
an awesome weapon from him. Where we? It's also medium, but he maybe we will be able to use that. Um. Medium. Do we have? You don't have any rings or other things. Great sword. Long sword. Invisibility mm -hmm. and blur. Maybe you will use that. Right, the winds and gust of wind. Sure. Dominate beast thing. Wait, there's no those you have, are wearing right now. This one seems better. Nineteen. You gain dark vision up to range of 3, uh, 15 if you already have it, and we need to roll a critical hit while attacking so this by 1. Mm. Strength saving trap plus 1. Attack plus 1. Yes, please. And... Athletics plus 1. When the world distress or takes a similar action during combat, they gain free lightning charges. You can, I think, long strider is better. If I remember correctly, this gives her movement speed increased by 4 meters. Will has a. Wait, can you use. Heavy crossbows, yes, so. Uh, Never know. a dull moment. Don't I have any crossbows? Oh, that's a short sword. Don't you want this? Blood first. Mm. Mm. When the creature misses you with a melee attack, you may retaliate and gain true strike. Why not? Plus one to armor class I'm gonna use. I need that. I do need that. Careful, I bind. Uh off hand. When you make an attack with your offhand weapon, you can add your ability modifier to the damage of the attack, which makes it awesome. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll save. Don't want to rest. I mean, I'm almost out of spell slots. He still has six. He's out of my bard inspiration. Yes, let's rest. What? Oh, god fucking damn it, not you again. Queen Vlakith. Scrum! You are a shark, and still you speak my name. I've seen the captive Orpheus with my own eyes, spoken to Shestil Kithrak Vos. You lied to us, enslaved us. The betrayer Vos lies! I have only a moment, and you, a Sharlak, will listen. We are Githyanki. We move mountains, we snuff out stars, we shake the plains! The traitor Voss has lied to you. The heretic prince would shatter us in an instant. The great dominion shrunk to the head of a pin. Can this be true? 
Is the Githyanki prince really a threat to his own people? Or simply a challenge to Vlakith's rule? Return to the astral prism! Slay Orpheus the Pretender! Serve me, and I will ascend you. You will be no mere warrior, nor Kithrak. You will be Barter Vlakith, commander of dragons. My only, my chosen. A final chance. Kneel before me. Make your promise. Lazar's thoughts become yours. The sight of Orpheus looms over her mind. Voss's words echo within it. She means to forever turn her back on Vlacketh. It's her choice. I gave you my faith, and you called me traitor. I gave you my life, and you ordered your knights to hunt me. I have witnessed too much, and you have given me too little. Finally, I can see. Orpheus will live, and I will hear his creed. This is my word. Your word is nothing. You are nothing! The Kithraki will bring you. I will tear your flesh from your bones and devour your skull's marrow while you beg for death. I will consume you. I will unmake you. Come on, wish! You already did that. <laughs> Can we have one night of peaceful sleep? It is done. There is no going back. As long as the Undying Queen reigns, I am never to soar unbound over the Astral Sea. Never to cross the one in the void. As it should be. Better a short life built on truth than immortality woven of lies. Better to unite the Githyanki under a prince who would free their minds and honor their bodies. So why do I feel so bitter? Hmm. <laughs> Let's consider her past and present. What? Is the true source of her resentment. Vlakith has upended Lazel's whole existence. Everything she knew to be true, every plan and aspiration she ever held has been painfully ripped away. Lazel's bitterness is born of sadness. She is mourning the loss of the person she once was and can never be again. You're grieving the future you'll never have. Black Heath took everything from you. How well you've come to know me. But in truth, she didn't take everything. I have what I have gathered for myself. I'm more to a new regent, a new land, a new allies. Vlaketh cannot unmake she who no longer exists. And so from the old battle cries is birthed another. Tmar Sala Orpheus must still now forge an Yeri. Orpheus is will above all. May the comet blaze my path forward. You've been quick to pledge yourself to Orpheus' cause. What about your own needs and wants? Orpheus' freedom is my want and my need. To deny his freedom would be to deny my own. There will come a time when I can think about myself beyond the Lich Queen who enslaves the Githyanki and the Prince who would liberate them. But that time won't come until the Prince of the Comet flies again. Vlakith promised to make you... But Vlakith sounds impressive. 
Vlakith's left hand and her right. Commander of all dragons, chosen of the Queen Regent. Not since Vlakith won has a Bart to Vlakith been anointed. <sighs> Another empty promise. Only a naive fool would believe otherwise. The kind of fool I was not so long ago. What next? We hammer Orpheus free from his chains at our first chance. Orpheus tough Kinazin. Okay, that means we need to kill Emperor. Baldur. Balduran. Light on my feet. <sighs> Any comment? Damn! It can't have been easy for Lazelle to stand up to Vlacketh like that. But there's nothing that woman can't do. True that. Now that she showed us her true colors. So, Lazel's finally seen the light and turned on her mistress. It took a little time, but she got there. Though it's not over yet. Masters rarely let their slaves go without a fight. Glad to see I'm not the only one on the wrong side of an omnipotent authority figure. Lazel did well to break free of Vlakith's manipulations, though I doubt Vlakith will let such insubordination go unpunished. Mm. Oh, what? What can she do? <laughs> Wish us out of existence? <laughs> not like she did that already. Once. I didn't think I'd live to see the day when Lazel turned her back on Vlakith. But all things considered, good for her. Hmm. Vlakith's a fearsome one. The sort it's hard to say no to. But Lazel said it anyway to her immense credit. She's choosing truth. She's choosing freedom. For her, for Orpheus, for the Githyanki people. <laughs> I wish I knew a good Githyanki cheer to celebrate the occasion, but... The only gift phrases I've picked up are the sweary sort. Can you teach me some? So, it seems that Vlaketh is Lazel's queen no longer. That took no small amount of backbone. I'll give it a shot. So, since I can only use bears on this side, apparently, <laughs> I have all for to myself. I'm not sad about that. <laughs> oh, give me a moment, scratch. So many things happening over here. The dog is unable to speak through the small bag he holds in his mouth. Hand it over. Hey, I hope you like it. Thank you. All I know is I thought of you when I saw it. Okay, the one is okay. See invisibility. Speak with the dead. No. Uh, you can also get speaking with animals, just in case. You uh, can proficiency in all skills of chosen. Maybe in intelligence. Yeah, in intelligence she has nothing. So now if I check it, yeah. Nice. Um anything else we have we can use? I don't think so. Let's go. So, that's progress. Uh, right. So, 
Well, yes. The hammer is ours. Yes. The means to Orpheus's release is in our hands. To the Undercity. Vos must hear. When we next enter the Astral Prism, we will break Orpheus free. Yes. But first I need to deal with the uh, dribbles. Uh, apparently we do have all of the body parts, but there might be an issue with the hand. I uh, completed. Yeah, hand wasn't locked. So, um, yes. Who stole the hand? I don't remember, but apparently it might be an issue that because we were caught after I stole it, the game may have bad. And usually it's a the way to fix it is to put it back, talk with the cobalt so he can, I believe, sell it to us. Uh, but since we killed him, it was self-defense. Um, since we killed him, it may not be possible. Also, I was told to try some more with the Jin here. Try and get something out of him. Mm, what happened, word? Found only in the most exotic of planes. You failed to win the grand prize. Spin again. Yes. Alas, no jackpot for you. Hmm. You failed to win the grand prize. The last person won was nothing but junk. Your tiny mind has failed to see its true potential. Okay. Oh, I could go for a good meal. That call it to that. I will try it with everyone. Save him. Alas! No! They fell. Dribbles, behold! Let us. Everyone is failing the perception Alas. save. No! What's your perception? Plus zero. I have plus zero. He has plus nine. <laughs> Spin the wheel. No, once you fail the save, you don't get to test it again. Uh, Found only in the most exotic of planes. Oh, never mind then. Still breathing, despite everything. So okay. hopefully. What will work me is me putting the hand back on the plate. And now with F now. Never wanted the easy path. What's in here? Can I give him the hand? Wait, I did not loot his body, which is weird. Um. Okay. Hmm. Cast. So we won't finish the quest line with the clown, which is unfortunate. But that's because I killed the poppers. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Oh well, any whoa, anyway, Baldur's Gate. Yes, I know. But I 
How come you cannot get over here? What? How come you... Okay, there's some weird stuff happening with Astarian lately. Um... Yes. Really? Be quick. Oh, there's another one. Eat it. Jimmy on the go. Cool. Oh, there's two more. Yes, thank you. Which means we need to hurry. That's okay. I forgot that I don't deal I the, the kind of damage that a Starion does. Uh, never mind. No, don't shoot. Just hit him. But we do know where it is hidden. Um, there's his place. Do we know how to get there? Eh. These boots have seen everything. Wait, not through Baldur's Gate, I believe. Ah, get back here. No. Thank you. For here, maybe. Right. What the hell? <laughs> For some reason, the game decided to cut the distance. Why are you going such a long way around? Huh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can go that way. We still need to deal with that mum mummy leash whatever that was. Oh, that's all. Scroll of seeming. Um, wait. I just know that this is the find the Shazar place. Oh, yeah, here. Don't ask me why I'm so oblivious to such things. I don't know. The way. Oh yeah. I can sneak in here. Security shouldn't be too tight. A few charmed innocents, maybe. Okay. If you wanna sneak in, why not? Not that I'm gonna help you. Hi guys. Master Astarian. But the time is almost here. You should be at the ritual. 
Hurry! The palace is being sealed. You must not be late. You must not anger the master. Okay. Be quick. I hope they don't mind me being here. Let's get going. Hi. You, you, you one of them? The fangy ones? I don't think so. Good. Don't like when they change. Get big, hairy, mean. Make sure you stay away. Okay, and you? Another guest. Yes, yes. More bones to chew, more bodies to nibble. Yeah. One day I'll catch a break. Another visitor? Staying long? The others are. Mm, what others? Who are these visitors? Guests. Came for a party. Never left, though. Don't know what happened to them. Don't want to know. But I'm sure you're different. I'm sure you'll be fine. Yeah, I'm sure. By the way, what's with... What happened to that weird ox we've carried into the city? Hmm. <laughs> Maybe it's time to disguise ourselves. <laughs> Um, or not. How bad can it be? Mm. Memorize these rules and do not fail to follow them. Do your job silently. Do not speak unless spoken to. The master likes it quiet. If you're not busy, find something to do and look busy. The master likes diligence. If you encounter the master, stand still and cast down your eyes with the difference. The master likes to be respected. No whistling. I hope he doesn't mind me stealing his stuff. Because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna steal as much as I can. <laughs> Still not no sight of anyone. Oh, pouch. Well, that's suspiciously welcoming. What? It clicked. It clicked. Hmm. Of course, there are bats. Because why not? Um, hello? The master is pure. His palace must be pure. No stain, no smudge, no taint. Pure. I suggest that he stops with the smoking. That's not what that was not my intention. But since we already did that. Wait, was it? Shumble and suit. Uh, sure. Elegant rope. Ooh, is that pajamas? <sighs> Anything's better than what I'm wearing right now. And I think this is a hidden. Oh. My darling Dufay, despite all the promises that when we went to the afterlife we would go together, you went without me. Or did you? I found your body and the empty bottle. I know you took a potion, but was it poison or something else? 
Here are two more identical bottles. I'm going to drink one of them and then I'll join you, one way or another. I love you for eternity. Lorianna. Well, probably silver? Liquid silver, maybe? What do you mean you can... Okay. Oh, that's why you cannot go there. Like I said, I'm gonna steal as much... No, I know what that is. Where? You mean there? Eh, uh, hi. Oh, the diary. Oh, well. Diary of Antoine de Fay, Chamberlain of Castro's Palace. The final page of the diary reads, I know enough about what the master has in mind with his ritual that I refuse to be the stand-in for that missing brat Astarian. Even if Castro finds my body, the potion bone cloak sold me is promised to provide a convincing illusion of death, especially since I'll leave behind a look-alike potion of acid poison. My one regret is dear Lorianna, but I simply cannot trust her with the secret of my one chance of escape. When the potion wears off, Casador will have ascended and will have need of my services. Or he will be no more, and mastery of the palace will fall to me. Uh, I hope you don't mind that out. Okay, he is dead. Hmm? Nope, nope. Not this time. Uh, okay, we've been there. Much to do. So much to prepare. Oh, this place is gigantic. Uh. That door is saturated with necrotic magic. Best keep my distance. But that's a guest room eyes are alert, verging on manic as she bustles about. Everything's gotta be right for the master. Everything's gotta be perfect. But those are humans, at least they look alive. Just keep cleaning. Don't stop cleaning. No. Behold! One of Cazador's cheapest tricks. An illusionary wall. Behind it is the kennel. A fetid little cell he throws into when displeased. So we don't want to go in there yet. I assume... I'm gonna get lost in here. So much. Don't I know you? I must be busy. No. Busy, busy, busy. Master might see me. Master might approve. Any other information? No. No. This is where the spawn will go. When we were getting neither the carrots, nor the stick. <clears throat> Cassandra's finest. When you're on the hunt, take prey by preference from the city slower classes. Patriarchs may smell better, but it will attract unwanted attention if too many aristocrats vanish when they're out slumming. In the last month, we already brought in a Dlasker, a Jesso, and an old hoon. And now few wealthy families are up in arms. Watch it. Hehe, <laughs> the growing hue since bed gave him a nasty rash. Serves him right for being such a whiny, whining runt. No, if only I could get at that snub, Leon and his brat of a daughter. She's protected. Cazador must have a fine plan for the Victoria. I wonder what it is. I'll stick to mine. That I found. <laughs> Stupid 
Hmm? Wait, I heard someone. Oh, come on. Okay, so there's apparently nothing here. Ooh. Oh, I like this one. I like that one more. Give me that. Bang. Eh? What path lies before me? I have no idea what that sound is. <laughs> Wait. There's something on this. Oh, on this side. Oof. Been. Oh. I'm spot for an ambush. Here's to ask. I know you're there, Golly. Stop skulking and show yourself. You always were sharp, little one. Sharp enough to cut yourself. It's taking everything I have not to grind your rotten carcass to dust. Why? He's cute. Bad at Cody, child. I only did my job. Only kept you in line. You tortured us. For days at a time. Oh, yes. And you sang so sweetly for me. None of the others screamed like you did. But you're home now, and you brought me a treat, eh? <laughs> a new friend for Godi. Lay a hand on me and lose it, both. Very nice. Not very friendly. Hmm. Why are you here then, little one, if not to see Godi? Isn't it obvious? I'm going to kill Casador. How dare you? As if you could lay a finger on the master, you ungrateful little brat. Godi will not let you get away with blasphemy. Godi will see you punished! Okay, luckily it's only him. Sure? And we're back to 25% turns to hit on Karlak. <laughs> Oh, his next one. Oh. Nice. Zor family ring. Oh. There's an inscription on the ring. I don't recognize the language though. Mm, maybe you recognize it? No. Alright. What now? Or maybe better not give him that. I can wear it. I won't stop me yet. Just in case. Yeah, I don't I don't need the shadow blade. Just in case. Let's be on my way. Open up. Interesting. Wait, through here? Nope. I'm so tired. Uh, I can rest soon. 
sinister seal. Dark energy envelops this store. I really, really want to check this out. So weak. There's necrotic magic at work. Can we cast speaking to dead? The corpse regards you lifelessly. Who are you? Victoria. <gasps> Orphan. How did you end up here? Lady promised me food. <gasps> Shelter. <gasps> Took me here. What happened when you got here? She held me. <gasps> but me. <gasps> Blood everywhere. Did the lady kill you? Tried, but couldn't drink. Wretching and gagging. Then monster arrived. Furious. She tried to disobey. Not drink, thinking creatures. He dragged her away. Do you, what did the monster look like? Oh, what lady? <laughs> okay, I have my suspicions. What lady? Do you know her name? Deliria. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Something cursed. <laughs> Wait, 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 turn base mode, please. Um, don't I have a thingy to... Keep your distance, darling. Remove curse. No, I would need... Shadow heart for that. And I can well go done. fetch shadow heart. She's not here. And we are in danger. I'm sorry, child. So I'll just quickly take that from you, dash, and I'll close the door. No, no. Is that blood? No, never mind. Don't speak about blood in this place. Victoria, remember to read that ancient language book. You'll need to know some of the vocabulary to be able to move freely within the palace. Father. Sinister. Maybe under the side we have something else. I have seen. Ah. Right, I have seen invisible. Wait. So how come those invisible creatures, whatever they are, are? <laughs> are invisible if I'm just wandering around with seeing invisible okay so now we are here so this is uh this makes me so confused so this is the upper floor Okay, there's something else here, I guess. <sighs> Fine, let's meet the master of the house. I'm gonna die. So much to do. Won't I? Mm. 
by the way, portion of my trading. And I'm prepared. I'm not. I am. No. I don't have any other healing I could use. At least things have stayed interesting. Great. Okay. The door is covered in intricate text, but you can't see anywhere a key might fit. Only a small round hollow engraved with a family crest. I have the ringy. But let's try to decipher the text on the door. It's we only we can make it on natural twenty. Almost there. Yes. Close. Okay. Never mind. Um, continue. Writing means nothing to you. You can't even recognize the script. There's writing like this all over the palace. Some old, probably dead language of Casador's. We were strictly forbidden from learning it. Press the signet ring against the hole in the door. The ring slots perfectly into place. But nothing happens. However, you get a feeling from the door as if it expects something else. A strange writing on the door glints in the candlelight. Perhaps it's significant. Ooh, 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 I don't like that. Okay, who of you have a history? I have plus five. Plus one. Minus one. Plus three. I'm the only one capable of Ooh, ooh. I don't like that. You? Another guest for the master's celebration. I'm afraid you're too late. You'll have to... Master Astaria? What are you doing here? Why aren't you downstairs? Well, obviously I'm on my way down now. So if you could just point us in the right direction. But you're too late. The, the, the doors have been sealed. The ritual is about to begin. So unseal the doors and let us in. It's too late. Gudi has sealed the doors and will not open them until the ritual is complete. Casador gave the key to Gudi. And where is this sadistic old sack of bones? It does not matter. You're too late. The master will be so angry that you missed the ritual. He will do such terrible, terrible things to you. I do not have any more time to waste. There is too much to do, too much to prepare. Okay, so speaking with that on Gaudi. Got it. Thank you. So why didn't why didn't I think about that? Uh, it's here. Corpse too damaged. So, did I soft look myself in here? <laughs> Actually, <laughs> okay, there is a way for me to deal with that, but I need to get Gale, I think. Wish. Doesn't get me wrong, I can give some. By the way, Godi is dead, he cannot tell me anything. Would you mind? To do. Um. I scrub for the master, as you see. Tell the master I scrub for him, always. Let's, Let's see what this does. So anticlimactic that I have need to go back to my camp to take someone more proficient in history, just to open the captain door. Ah. Ok, 
Okay. Is there? Is something burdening you? That's awfully nice of you. Wait for me, Tamp. No, of course. You, as you say. Nothing changed. Um. Please don't fight with me, Gail. Two things. First, I have a you know, pajamas for you. Second one, you're going with me. Hopefully, you have better history than I do. Plus eight. It is better. <laughs> well, by the way, by the way. That's for you. Come on. Well, he has... Never mind. She has new pajamas. Please try opening. Can we? Lock picking impossible. I love that kind of door. The door is covered in intricate text, but you can't see anywhere a key might fit. Only oh. a small round hollow engraved right. with a family crest. Huh. I forgot that I can give my inspiration also. It's written in archaic Kozakuran, a rare version of an already obscure language. There are inscriptions like this all over the You can make this out is. enough to recognize an incantation, but the specifics elude you. The ring slots perfectly. The strange writing on the door glints in the candlelight. Okay, I'll end this part here. I've got a long road. I will go back to the part where Goldie was alive, so thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!